Well, hello, welcome or welcome back to this platform. Today, we're going to talk about five signs that you have a problem. You're a workaholic. It's okay. That's why I'm in this ministry. You're gonna get delivered today if you wanna get delivered, okay? Let's start. First sign that you're a workaholic is that you've never called in sick. You've never had a day off. No vacation, your PTOs are up, you're collecting PTOs as, as if they're like a badge of honor. No time off whatsoever. Something's wrong with that. Second sign that you're a workaholic is that you're the one that people call to put out fires. It seems like you're the only one who can take care of this matter. No one else in this company that you work for or this job. Your number is actually saved on speed dial because everybody knows that you're the one that they can depend on should they have an emergency. You're the one that they're gonna call if something's happening with their kids at school or if there's a graduation coming up last minute because they know you got them covered. And that is bad, okay? That is so bad. These people have boundaries, but you don't. I would suggest you get some. Third sign that you're a workaholic is that you're always working late. You're rarely home for family dinner. Your family basically has given up on waiting for you because they know it's it's just what you do. Your, your dad is just not there or mom is just not there for dinner. And it's sad because a meal is meant to be enjoyed with those you love and you're, you've been missing out on all the great memories you could be sharing with your family by sitting and having a wonderful meal. But no, you're slaving at work. Fourth sign that you're a workaholic is that work is all you talk about. Work, 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 work. The conversation at the table, if you're at dinner, if you do decide to make it, it's about work. You're with friends, it's about work. You're by yourself, you're thinking about work. It's like you're freaking possessed by work. You're working, 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 even when you're probably not at the location, but your mind is there. Change the conversations. There's more to life than work. Find out what's going on with your kid's life. What's going on with your family's life. Find something to talk about besides work because I'm sure everyone around you is fed up. They love you, they may not want to tell you like straight up like, oh my God, just be quiet already or change the conversation already. They're, they're being, they're trying to understand you, but you're boring everybody. Please change the conversation. Last sign that you're workaholic is that you don't know what to do with yourself when you're not working. It's like you're under a spell again, you're possessed. Like they did some black magic on you. I don't know what they did, sis or bro, but if you're not at work, it's like you don't feel alive. It's like you, you don't know what to do. Like work is your fun. And that's sad because there's so many different fun recreation, recreational things that you can do besides sitting at an office or besides sitting in front of a computer at a desk there's more to life than that. And you need to start today. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Enjoy the beautiful day. Spend time with your friends, your family, because that place, these people, they don't care about you. They don't. You may think they do, or you may get this satisfaction that you're, I don't know, you're doing some something like a greater good, but it's not. At the end of the day, you're running down your body and your family is missing on having spending time with you, quality time with you because you're putting work first. You need to figure out what your priorities are. There's an intervention that's happening right now behind your back and you don't know. That's why I'm here. It's okay. As long as you know that there's a problem, we can fix it. Let me know, community, do you know someone who's always working? Is it you? Is it your mom? Is it your father? Is it your brother? Is it your sister? Let them watch this video because 
they need to know that there's more to life than just working. That's all I have for you today. And um, until next time, I will catch you all in another video. Bye for now.